Hi, thanks for visiting with me. I appreciate when you take the time to watch and comment on my videos. Do you call a woman after a date? Have you ever promised to call, but then you didn't? Is it your responsibility to call her, or can you get by with a text? How can you get better at following up with a phone call after a date? In my last video, I talked about sentient dating and in step number five, I explained that a follow-up call after a date is the man's responsibility. Why do you think that's true? A woman instinctively expects a call and hopes for the reassurance and closure that a call will provide. Just as a salesman knows the importance of following up if he wants to provide good service and create future business, a man needs to call after a date to give a woman the chance to express her feelings about the date and to reassure her that he cares about her feelings. Giving her the opportunity to talk means you've got to call her. Don't just send a text. A man may feel that calling the next day after a date will make him seem needy or desperate. He senses that if he is too excited or interested, it may compromise his value to the woman. But think again about the salesman calling a client the day after closing a high dollar deal. The client will appreciate the call and be reassured that the salesman will come through on his promises and their relationship and his product is valued even more. When you don't call, the woman cannot get the closure she needs and she's stuck in a holding pattern wondering if she'll hear from you again. The longer you wait to call, the more frustrated and irritated she'll become. Think of it this way. Have you ever waited for a call from your mechanic, your doctor, or your cable provider? Waiting is the worst. Wouldn't you rather surprise her with a call the next day, exceed her expectations, relieve her anxiety, and make her feel happy to hear from you? Rather than the phone call making you appear needy, it shows that you are confident enough to let her know you had a good time. This kind of confidence not only makes you very attractive to her, but it also gives her the reassurance she needs and greatly appreciates. If you need a good reason to call her the next day after your date, I'll give you three. Number one, call to let her talk. Even if you don't feel like talking or you have very little to say, you need to follow up with her. You can at least ask her questions and give her the chance to talk about the date. As she talks, it will remind you of what happened and how you felt. When you let her talk about it, she'll be able to appreciate you more. By listening to her talk about the date, you will get more points than you got from actually taking her on the date. If you call first before she calls you, then you get bonus points. If you get her voicemail when you call, let her know you had a great time and then ask her to call you and give her times when you'll be available. Remember, she needs to talk, not listen or read a text. Number two, call to see if the attraction is there. After a date, it's a good practice to date a woman again to see what happens with the attraction. If you don't think you're going to date her again, at least give her a call and talk to see how you feel when talking to her. Sometimes the way she reacts to a call may win you over and rekindle feelings that you may have forgotten. Calling a woman after a date does not mean that you have to ask her out again. It's fine to be unsure. When you're feeling uncertain, it's important to continue pursuing a relationship until the attraction dissipates or increases. This will help you to discern who's the right one for you in the future. Number three, call as a courtesy. Even if you're not sure you want to pursue the relationship, it's still important to call. Let her know you had a good time and display your good manners. A woman needs to hear from the man she dated. Each time you go out of your way to respect a woman's need, it makes you more attractive to all women. Even if you don't go out for a date, but you just ask the woman for her number, make sure you call. 
Often a man doesn't call back when he's not planning to pursue a relationship because he figures that calling a woman to reject her would be insulting. He may think by not calling her, he's sparing her feelings. However, women feel neglected and disrespected when a man doesn't call, especially when he says he will, or if he didn't clearly close out the relationship on their last date. If you've only dated once or twice, it's okay to just leave a voicemail. Of course, it's difficult to call a woman the day after a date, especially one that didn't go well, and I'm sure you could come up with many excuses not to do so. One of the main reasons being that you don't know what to say. That's why I'm going to offer you 10 different ways to call and what to say in each situation. Number one, time will tell. When you're not interested in pursuing her right now, but you don't want to burn any bridges, you can say, it was really nice to meeting you. I had a good time with you on our date. I'll see you around. Don't make any promises you don't plan to keep, but you can leave her with a good feeling. Number two, good luck. When you choose not to pursue the relationship, but you want to offer her closure so she knows not to wait around for you, say, Thank you for going out with me. It was a pleasure to meet you. I had a nice time. Good luck, and I hope you do well at school, or with that project, or some other thing you know she's working on or planning. Number three, postponement. When you're busy at work and just don't have the time or energy for dating right now, a friendly call to let her know will be greatly appreciated. You can say, I had a great time yesterday. I have a lot of pressure at work, or I have a big project due, or whatever it is, and I need to focus on that right now. I probably won't be calling for a few weeks. I look forward to seeing you again. Number four, getting involved with someone else. If you're getting into an exclusive relationship with someone else, and you have dated this woman at least three times, let her know what's happening. This type of call is best given a week or more after the date. Give her a no promises follow-up call the day after your date and then follow up a week later by saying, I'm glad I got to know you. I've decided that I want to get involved with someone else and so I won't be calling. Thank you for going out with me. I really enjoyed the time we spent together. If she asks why you decided on someone else, just say that you know in your heart that you're not the right guy for her. Number five, not ready. When you're trying to decide if you want to have an exclusive relationship with another woman, or if you're unsure about dating this woman, you can say, thank you for a wonderful date. I realized I'm still dealing with a past relationship and I don't think I'm ready to be dating right now. I hope you don't mind if I call sometime in a few months. This really isn't the right time for me. Number six, not emotionally available. Maybe you want to take some time for yourself and not date anyone for a while. Just let her know by saying, I had a good time with you, but I realized I'm not emotionally available right now. I need to take some time for myself, so I won't be calling for a while. Number seven, ready to move on. If you're not ready for an exclusive relationship and want to keep dating other people, but she's asking for an exclusive relationship with you, it may be time for you to move on. You can say, I really like spending time with you, but I think I'm ready to move on. I wanted to let you know it was nothing you said or did. I just realized I need a change. Thanks, and I hope you find the right guy for you. Number eight, wrong timing. When one of you is just getting out of a relationship, dating can feel out of balance. You can say, I enjoyed being with you. I don't think the timing's right. You're in the process of ending a relationship, so I'll give you a call in a few months. I hope things work out for you. Or, thanks for a wonderful time. I realize that I'm still in the process of ending my last relationship, and it wouldn't be fair to you. Maybe I can call in a few months when things get resolved with my last relationship. Number nine, not sure. When you're uncertain about a woman... It's considerate and good manners just to let her know what's happening. It's okay to be unsure, but it's not okay to just ignore her and go on as if she didn't exist. You can say, I had a great time the other night. 
I wanted you to know I'm not sure if I want a relationship right now, so I probably won't be calling for a while. If she starts asking questions like, well, how do you feel about me? Or is there someone else? Answer her questions briefly, then respond with a similar question. For example, you can answer, how do you feel about me? With, I like you. How do you feel about me? Having this conversation with her may help you to clarify your feelings for each other. Number 10, not right for each other. Once you've entered an exclusive relationship, if you change your mind, have an argument, or discover you have irreconcilable differences and want to move on, you can say, I think it's clear we're not right for each other, but I wanted to call and at least say thanks and wish you happiness. Obviously, it is difficult and uncomfortable to end a relationship whether you've been on one date or dozens. The more practice you get at these types of situations, the more discerning you'll become about who you date in the first place. The attraction stage of dating is a time to discover your likes and dislikes and to get to know the kind of person you are and what you want. Being able to say no to someone because he or she is not the right person for you strengthens your resolve to find the right person. The act of saying no to a relationship that is not right for you fine-tunes your ability to be attracted to the person who is right for you. It builds integrity and confidence when you make these choices and follow through with action. It is immature and cowardly to ghost a woman by never calling her back or to breadcrumb her with occasional texts to string her along in case you get lonely. Although it's good manners to call and close out a relationship, there are other benefits as well. The way we end a relationship determines the kind of person we'll be attracted to the next time. If we get trapped in guilt or unresolved feelings, we end up repeating negative patterns trying to fix the past. When we end a relationship with good feelings, we take another step closer to the partner of our dreams. Let me know if you always give a call after a date or Tell me if you have a difficult situation that you'd like help to solve. I'd love to hear from you. Please visit my Patreon page and consider pledging a small amount each month to join our community, receive bonus perks, and support my work. And take a moment now to like this video with a thumbs up. Then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Thanks for meeting with me. We'll talk again soon. The Softer Side